Hello all, welcome back to our channel. So students, in this video we will discuss the unit number 2 of cost accounting. What topics you need to cover in this unit and how you need to be prepared, how you need to start your preparation for second unit in cost accounting we will discuss in this video. So don't skip the video and watch till the end. Okay, so let me know how many of you interested for the other chapters explanation also. Okay. So in cost accounting, the unit number two name is materials mark and you can score 16 marks, 16 of 16 marks easily. This is the easiest unit in overall cost accounting subject. Okay. So in problematic that will be a easiest way to learn the problematic subject will not be uh, having any difficulty in, in it and you just need to understand the concept you are not at all having any formulas also in this unit okay so for 12 marks there will be a problematic question definitely consisting of uh, LIFO method, FIFO method, weighted method and simple method this four problematic methods are there which will come for 12 marks especially LIFO, FIFO is very much important weighted is little bit important okay but Compared to the all units, this unit problematic, all this four problematic is easy, easy to understand. Within two hours, you can finish off this materials chapters perfectly. Okay, so LIFO method is last in first out. That is method name is called last. L stands for LAST, last in first out. FIFO method is first in first out. Weighted is weights we need to do. Simple average means what is the average rate we are having. So what is about this unit? What you per, uh, learn in this unit means in materials. The word itself is saying that materials. In an organization, we will have the goods or materials. Where we will store that goods or materials? In go-downs. Got it? So here... Where we will store the goda, where we will store the goods in godowns. Okay. For example, this is your business which is located in LP Nagar. Your godown is beside the, your organization. Okay. Yours is a rice bag manufacturing company. Let us assume. Okay. Uh, in, in your business point of view, here you are having only 5 bags. In godown, you have stored 100 bags here. This is the first bag, second bag, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Like in order wise, you have stored the goods. Okay. So, after, if you want the bags, and then you go down, since you sharing kawali and kunte, and then go down, since you goods kawali and kunte, you can follow these four methods based on your business purpose. For example, life, uh, rice bag, and then you First, first rice bag Adi manam first use yes also sorry. First in first out. Then what will they will follow? Whatever they have kept in the go down first bag, that they will use the bag first in. Last in first out means last bag which he kept in the go down, he will use that first. After that, second last. Third last, like that. Weighted means we need to do weighted, simple means rate, simple average, average we need to calculate. This four methods only you will have now for 12 marks, compulsory 12 marks you can easily score. Okay, and for four marks, what you need to learn? Problematic. So, for problematic four marks, we can expect the EOQ question now. That is called economic order quantity. Just simple formula you will have, you just convert your question data into the formula EOQ that is called EOQ. Compulsory, we can expect one question as problematic if they are asking problematic from unit number 2, chances are there for the EOQ only. Next, you will have stock levels for 4 marks which is having reorder quantity, reorder level, maximizing the reorder level, minimizing reorder level. Not much important. If you remember the formulas, you can score. And if you don't want to uh, 
concentrate on problematic for four marks means you just learn EVOQ and skip this top levels. And for theory, uh, we can expect we can by explaining the videos in explanation videos, I will explain what are the theoretical questions we can get from unit number two of cost accounting, especially to score sixteen marks. One six. The passing is thirty two marks. Okay. So here half of the marks you can score from materials. Anyway, unit number one is theory unit. So if you are perfectly prepared, unit number one and unit number two definitely you can pass cost accounting subject also. Only two units. But my suggestion to you all is minimum three units you need to be perfect to get passing marks. We can't know how evaluator is. Uh, paper uh, correcting your paper, okay. So for to be thirty two marks, uh, sixteen marks you can score from this. You need to learn LIBO, FIFO, weighted, simple, and for four marks, EVOQ and stock levels. This six methods easily you can finish it up. Anyway, I will upload the explanation videos. If you want the explanation videos, definitely do comment down in the comment section. And uh, for as I have explained unit number two, how what you need to learn. Same like that, if you want for unit number three, unit number four, unit number five, and unit number one, let me know in the comment section. Definitely, I will to try to upload the videos very fast. Okay, you don't worry. Definitely, definitely, I will explain the. I will upload the explanation videos. It's my assurance to you all. And uh, all the very best for your examination, and all the very best for your preparation, ma. See you all in next video. Bye bye, everyone.